I'm a reporter for the Daily Chronicle. If there's one thing that I've learned throughout my years as a reporter, it's that the end of the story is rarely the end of the story. In fact, sometimes it is just the beginning. This is a story that was the beginning for me. Although we only met for a brief moment and there was only one word exchanged between us, my life was changed forever. Hello, I'm the reporter from the Chronicle. Come in. Oh, thank you. The interview was with Vincenzo Vivaldi, the world's foremost violinist and composer. I admit I didn't know much about him, but I had my questions at the ready. How did he become such a success? How did he create such a legacy? And what inspired him to learn the violin? I felt as though I was stepping on sacred ground when I entered the old man's room. I could feel that his time to depart was drawing nigh. Thank you for seeing me, Mr. Vivaldi. Um, for our readers, what would be the one key factor in achieving all of your great and grand accomplishments? Those were the last words he ever spoke. As I left the house that day, I now had a greater question than when I had arrived. is a composer's greatest work and the opus is about us becoming the most amazing magnificent extraordinary human beings that we were meant to be you and I are here to do magnificent and magnanimous things you're here to create and you're here to contribute and you're here to connect at a high velocity everybody deep inside has a dream and a vision and a calling and an inspiration that they're here to do Anyone can do this, and I, it almost sounds cliche. You, everybody says, oh, you can be whatever you want to be. You just got to have the dream. And all of that's true. Unfortunately, it has become cliche, and people have stopped listening to it. The best way for you to predict your future is to invent it. It's up to you.